Hey guys, today I am going to be talking about the Diva Curl products, which you know are my absolute favorites, ride or die, cannot live without them. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with a few of the products that I love by them, but I also wanted to talk about the products that I would pass on in their range. I've also been getting this question a lot uh, because I have been doing so many first impressions. If you guys have not seen those videos, I will leave the playlist in the description box so you can check them out. But a lot of the products I have found, I've really liked and I've also disliked some of them. And I've been getting asked if any of those products have replaced my Diva Curl and the answer is no. <laughs> So yes, my most recent routine that I've uploaded is still my go-to. If you have not seen that, I will link that up above so you guys can check that out. Trust me, you guys will be the first to know if I find something that I like more than the Diva Curl. With those first impressions, I do try to review products as thoroughly as possible because while we may have a similar curl pattern, our hair might have slightly different quirks that make it unique. So something that I may not like about a certain product you really might love so I really want to touch on all of those points so you guys can get a very well-rounded and thorough review. So I just wanted to clear that up because I do get asked that a lot but now let's move on to the products I would purchase and the products I would pass on. So let's start off with the ones that I love because I'm going to go through these really quickly because a lot of you guys are familiar with them already. They can be found in again my updated curly hair routine. So let's start off with the shampoo and conditioner. Now I also get a lot of questions on the difference between the low poo and the no poo. No poo has no sudsing uh, abilities at all. So if your hair is ultra dry and it does not get weighed down easily at the scalp, you may like that. I love the low poo because I still need something that's going to uh, get rid of product in my hair and give me a really good clean feeling because if my hair is not shampooed it gets very weighed down. The low poo is actually great because it cleans my hair, it moisturizes, and this is the only shampoo that I can detangle with. This one actually leaves my hair softer than when I first washed it, so I love that. And um, the ones that I'm showing here are actually part of the Delight line, which are for wavy hair. I honestly do not see a difference between the low poo and the One Condition Delight versus the original. If your hair is more on the curly side, I just go with the original. I was just giving to these so these are the ones that I have right now. The one condition though is an awesome conditioner. It's not too heavy. It's just moisturizing enough. It doesn't coat your hair. This is one of the few conditioners that I can get away with using without having to supplement a deep conditioner. I went through a phase where literally the only conditioner I could use was a hair mask just because my hair is so inherently dry but this honestly does a trick for me. Really really good stuff. Okay so moving on to styling products. <laughs> You guys already know, the super cream. A lot of times in my first impressions, I talk about that perfect balance between hydration without being too heavy. This is the perfect combination of both of them. This is ultra moisturizing. It defines your curls really, really well. And it also does a great job at controlling frizz. I have used this on its own. I actually, for a while, I was using this on its own and I could get away with it. But uh, for the past, I wanna say like six, months or so, maybe a little bit less. I don't really, I'm terrible at timelines. Um, I have been using the frizz-free volumizing foam. This is another staple in my routine that I absolutely love. The trick with this is you want to use it on your hair when it's soaking wet. Um, the super cream, yes, like on my wash days, I always style my hair when it's soaking wet. You guys know that. But uh, the super cream I can apply to my hair when it's not wet and it still works like if I want to refresh second day curls or anything like that. The volumizing foam I find works the best on really wet hair uh, because this way it doesn't get stiff or make your hair crunchy. It's not drying. When applied to wet hair it really holds the curl and it's almost like undetectable on the hair besides the fact that you have this really really great hold to it. So this is something else that I love and cannot live without. So my newest obsession and newest addition to my routine is the Set It Free Moisture Lock Shine and Finish Spray. And I've actually had this for quite a while. This was used on me on set for a photo shoot that I was doing, but it was used differently. So the way that they used it on me was they sprayed a little bit of this product in my hand mixed with another product and kind of used it to revitalize or refresh my curls, um, kind of as like a second day 
curly hair hack and it worked well for that but this really becomes life-changing when you use this on its own so after my hair is totally dry I'll actually spray a little bit of this um, either in my hand or right on my hair. I find that it's a little bit easier in the hand because it kind of almost sprays like a lotion, but this fights frizz so well and it adds incredible shine. You just have to be careful about how much you use of this because if you do go a little bit overboard and use too much, it can leave kind of a sticky um, coating on your hair but when you use the right amount oh my gosh this is perfect i'm so glad i pulled this out and used this for its original purpose as per the instructions on the back of the bottle um it says if you want to seal in moisture fight frizz and add shine to your curls after styling this is just what you need and holy crap they are right okay so those are all of my purchases now let's move on to my passes so the first one i was actually really really excited about because i am always on the hunt for something that is going to make my curls into more of a beautiful beachy wave texture without having to use heat and I'm starting to give up hope because I have not found anything yet that does that but sometimes I just want to feel like I just walked out of the ocean and my hair dried the way everyone else's does when they come out of the ocean but not mine it's so funny because so many people love their hair after a day at the beach mine is just a brillo pad mess so i'm always looking for something that m kind of mimics everyone else's beachy curls but not mine so that's what i was really hoping the wave maker would do but this just leaves my hair so freaking dry and i have pretty dry hair uh although it is healthy it's just dry this does give a lot of volume so i feel like there's some kind of volume building product or ingredient in here that does add a lot of volume but it also makes my hair dry and just get like tangled so i don't know i mean it smells amazing if you have finer hair that is very soft and you just want something to enhance your wave i would check this out um or even if you have softer curls and i do like a softer hair texture you might like this as well because it does define your curls well and it does uh, eliminate frizz. I just literally hate how it makes my hair feel so I never ever reach for this. So the next pass is something that it's not a bad product necessarily. I just think it's kind of useless. This is the No Comb Detangling Spray. I just wouldn't waste my money on this. Uh, it, it detangles for sure. You spray it on like an individual curl. And you kind of work it through um, to detangle. But one, my hair does not bounce back once I detangle with this. It just kind of stays flat and limp. Uh, and it leaves it a little bit sticky feeling. But also, to me, the conditioner is so good. You just mix a little bit of that with water and spray it on your hair and <laughs> your tangles are gone. Uh, so yeah, I just I feel like it's a useless product and I just would not purchase it. And then the last product that I would pass on, again, is not something that's necessarily bad. I just don't reach for it anymore. And that is the styling cream. To me, the super cream is just far superior. This leaves much more of a product feel on my hair and also does not give as much moisture as the super cream does. I tend to reach for this, like I'll throw this in my beach bag if I just want something to like throw in my hair after I get out of the ocean or whatever. Uh, or I travel with this sometimes because this little guy has exploded on me a few times and I'm not playing around with this and wasting product like that. It is too good. So I just feel like this is kind of useless uh, in my opinion. I'd much rather the super cream. So if you are trying to figure out the difference between the two, you know which one I would pick. The super cream just way outshines the styling cream. So I feel like don't even waste your time or your money on this one. Just go straight for the super cream. All right, guys, so those are my purchases and passes for the Diva Curl line. Do we want to make this a thing? Do we want to make this a series? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If you like this idea, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it somewhat helpful. Please subscribe if you have not already and you like my videos. And I hope you have a great day, a great rest of your week, and I will talk to you next time. Bye, guys.